Hello everyone, welcome to another Barb Stamps video. Today's video, uh, we're going to talk about the Nailed It Bundle and also some of the products in the Urban Underground Suite. Um, I did participate in a swap and I have a 26 cards to show you that use the Nailed It Bundle. All the cards use uh, the stamps and the dies or a combination of both. Um, they also use uh, some of the cards that use this stamp set, some use the Underground Designer Series paper, some use the washi tape, the embellishments, and the hexagon folder. So I've got a lot of cards to show you and there's some great ones. This is the Nailed It stamp set. It's got some really awesome uh, stamps in it. It's got these super cute little uh, faces too that are on some of these cards. And this coordinates with the Build It framelits, uh, which die cut uh, a lot of the images that are in the stamp set. We also have the Urban Underground Embellishments, which are little metal accents. We've got some stars, some screw heads, and some nuts, and there's some, or some of the cards have these. Uh, some of the cards use the Urban Underground Designer Series paper. This is kind of a man paper, if you will, with some great uh, kind of manly patterns in them. And the package also has uh, some patterns with some silver accents. So some of the cards will have some of those also. Some of the cards also use the Hexagon's dynamic embossing folder. Um, the dynamic embossing folder uh, creates an image such as this. This is one side, here's the other. You can also take the folder and you can ink it up and run a cardstock through and get this kind of chicken wire pattern. So there's a couple things you can do with this folder. All right, so let's get into the cards. First card we have for you uses some of that designer series paper that we talked about with the little silver accents. Got the super cute hammer on the front. Open it up and we've got the huge congrats which comes out of the watercolor wishes kit in the big catalog and that is shown on page 8. It's a card kit that comes with a stamp set and there are a few cards um, in today's video that do use the images in this stamp set. So great card kit. Moving on to this card, you can see we've got the hexagon folder back here on the soft suede card stock. We've got our tools and nuts cut out of smoky slate, and then this cute little uh, screwdriver has that smiley face. We've got the happy birthday greeting there, and then this one is blank on the inside. We've got a Father's Day card here that does use a couple of the designer series papers in that pack. Uh, the hexagons folder again in the background. Um, the Happy Father's Day greeting is in the Nailed It stamp set, and then the Hexagon dies in the Build It framelits. We've got some fancy gold ribbon there along the side, and then we've got the Hoping Your Day is Perfect greeting from Sweet Sentiments, which is on page 54 of the Occasions catalog. So you can see there's a lot of great sayings in this stamp set also. Lots of different occasions there. Moving on, we've got this card that uses some Island Indigo and some Always Artichoke back here. We've got the hammer cut out. Um, it looks like this one is actually kind of like rubbed with an ink pad maybe on this handle. Yes, because this stamp doesn't actually have a design like that in it. So this looks like the ink pad was maybe just rubbed along the handle a little bit before it was cut out. We've got some of the Urban Underground washi tape here and some more of that uh, designer series paper with the silver foil accents. Of course, the saw done in silver foil. Open it up and we've got our Happy Father's Day greeting with some more of the washi tape from the Urban uh, collection there. Moving on to this card, this one uses a bunch of the designer series paper in that package and they're all cut with the uh, banner triple punch. Uh, so the ends are all uh, flagged like that. We've got a little circle done with the hexagons folder. We've got some of that uh, daffodil, daffodil, delightful Dijon striped, mini striped ribbon. Um, the greeting in this, on this card is from the Sunburst Saying stamp set and that is located on page 99 in the big catalog. Got our little happy birthday to you greeting. And then we've just got some uh, die cut circles using the circles framelits. The inside of this one uses a stamp from that watercolor wishes set that says you're amazing. Uh, we've got this card here that uses one of these stitched shapes circles framelits along with one of these scalloped circle framelits. Got a little bit of burlap ribbon behind there and some of the designer series paper and then you'll see we've got two of the embellishments from the um, urban underground embellishment set we've got the screw head on the nut and, oh three of them and the star got our greeting on there from the nailed it stamp set and then on the inside we've got your amazing which comes from all things thanks 
this stamp set here, and this is shown on page 35 of the Occasions catalog, and there's just all kinds of thanks greetings in here, so this is a great one to get. Moving on, we've got this card with a big piece of the Designer Series paper in the back. We've got all the tools cut out of silver foil sheets and then also stamped on uh, Whisper White and then colored in. We've got our greeting from that Watercolor Wishes kit, uh, one of the screw heads. And then we've got uh, the Happy Father's Day greeting on the inside with a bit of some more Designer Series paper. All right, this card has lots of layers. I really like this. Uh, this is another Happy Father's Day card. So we've got some tools on there. You can see that the saw is actually cutting into um, that hexagon greeting. So that's pretty cool. Open it up. We've got another greeting from the Watercolor Wishes kit. And I just love this for Father's Day. Another Father's Day card. This one has uh, the Happy Father's Day embossed in silver embossing powder. A couple pieces of the Designer Series paper. I really like this paper with those silver accents. Can you see how cool that is? Uh, this piece of Designer Series paper was cut with the stitch circle framelit. You can kind of see the uh, stitching lines that that die leaves. A couple of those stars from the embellishment set. And then this stamp set here is called Urban District and it is shown on page 47 of the Occasions catalog. And it's kind of a Father's Day card. We've got our DAD that you could spell out, Dad, uh, you're the best. The only thing is better than having you as my dad is my children having you as their grandfather. That is so nice. I really like that one. And so this is another stamp set that coordinates with this suite. All right, they've got a birthday card here that does use uh, the Nailed It stamp set for the stamps here and the uh, Build It framelits. We've got some silver foil sheets done in the hexagons folder. Some of that skinny uh, washi tape. Oh, those adorable little smiley faces that are in the stamp set. Uh, the die cut screws. And then we've got the stylized birthday, which is a single stamp in the big catalog. And that's shown on page 16. Open that up and we've got wishing you happiness on your special day. And that is from a stamp set called Better Together on page 83 of the big catalog. Yep, this one here, Better Together. And this is a really cool stamp set. Lots of different greetings in this one for lots of different occasions. All right, this card here, we've got a lot of the tools die cut from different colors of cardstock. We've got some crumb cakes, some smoky slate, some delightful Dijon, our greeting on a banner. Here's some of that designer series paper with the really cool foil accents. A few of the smaller stamps for a background. And then open that up and we've got some more designer series paper and some more of those small stamps. Now this card here, I do have a video for this one. Um, on my YouTube channel. I'll link that right up here for you to check that one out. This one also uses some of the uh, silver foil sheets and the hexagon folder. This one uses the ruler. Um, this ruler is in the die set and it embosses. It doesn't cut, it just embosses that really cool ruler pattern on there. Got a little hexagon um, urban embellishment. We've got the badge badge or banner punch, I can't remember, that's just trimmed off at the bottom to create a pocket. Tools are tucked in there. And then we'll open that up, and we've got the hammer and the You're the Best greeting, which is also from the All Things Thanks stamp set. Got this birthday card here. This is really cool. The hammer is actually, we've got some Designer Series paper die cut um, to match the hammers. Then we've got those little smiley faces on the hammer heads, a bunch of nails. And this one's got kind of a splatter background on there. And I believe what you can do is you can kind of uh, wet some ink in the lid of your... Um, stamp pad and then get a paintbrush and you just kind of swirl the paintbrush and the liquid ink and then if you just tap it it'll splatter all over which makes a really cool background you can kind of see that on there and right here and then we've got some of the black baker's twine wrapped around the bottom into a knot and the greeting on this card is from the big on birthday stamp set this is also in the occasions catalog this is on page six and this has some really uh, fun different birthday images Let's see we've got some of the designer series paper here open that up and then we've just got some nails um, stamped on the side in the various colors yay here's one for the girls i'm so excited this one uses the nailed it bundle plus it also uses the balloon adventures stamp set for the greetings so we've got this greeting on the outside and then i believe we'll open it up and i think that's greetings on the inside there but i love this it's got uh, pink pirouette Yes, where's that blushing bride? I think it's pink pirouette. And uh, rose red, we've got the petals folder in the background here. We've got a bunch of rhinestones. We've got some of that blushing bride sequin trim. And then we've got some ovals uh, die cut here. Open that up and yep, there's that greeting. And then we've got the saw and I just really like this. I was so happy to see this for the girls because girls use tools too. All right, so here's another one. This one has some of the uh, Bold Brights Designer Series paper stack used on it. So we've got some of the diagonal stripe down the side. Of course, you guys know the diagonal stripe is my favorite uh, pattern in those packages. And then we've also got the little uh, 
flower pattern here. And this is kind of an I'm sorry card. So it says, sorry I screwed up. And then we've got that little frowny face um, stamp that comes in the nail that stamp set there. And then we've got some of the splattery background, which is from the Gorgeous Grunge stamp set. Uh, this just has a lot of cool backgrounds. This one was used here. And Gorgeous Grunge is in the big catalog on page 123. Some more of that black baker's twine there. Open that up and we've just got some uh, nuts stamped along the bottom and some more of that splatter pattern. This card here uses a big sheet of the designer series paper. It's also got the U uh, die cut and that comes to us from the Hello U thinlets which are on page 192 in the big catalog. So they're right here. We've got happy U, hello, and thanks. Um, different greetings you can cut out with those dies. So that U was used on this. And we have the R Amazing uh, stamp that also, from the All Things Thanks, the U R Amazing. And we've got some screws on there, the screwdriver. We've got a square uh, scallop cutout there. And then on the inside, we've got uh, the Thanks for Everything from the All Things Thanks and then a screwdriver. Moving on to this card, this is a very cool card. This one uses the hexagon folder and you can actually add ink to the folder before you run the paper through. So if you add just different colors of ink with a sponge um, onto the folder, then when you run it through, you get this really cool pattern here on um, that hexagon from the hexagon folder. Uh, we've got our tools colored in with some markers. We've got that little urban underground embellishment there. We've got a piece of cardstock here that was stamped with the hardwood background stamp I believe that is. We've got some really cool lace trim up here. Open that up and then we've just got some more tools along with some washi tape across the corner there. This is kind of a peekaboo card here. We've got some of the designer series paper. Uh, we've got this little tag that comes in this uh, die set and it kind of makes this really cool um, embossed pattern around the tag. So we've got a couple of little screw heads embossed in silver got our greeting on there, open it up, and then we've got the stitched shape oval uh, die cut in the center with our hammer on that and some of those uh, stamps from the Urban District stamp set on this one. Here's another one that's kind of a bit of a fancy fold. Um, this one kind of just opens up like this so it's not a full card front. Uh, it just kind of hides the greeting on the inside there with the fronts. So we've got the cool hammer. We've got a little bit of that hexagon folder action going there. Got a stitched shape square, some designer series paper, a couple of those nuts, a good banner, and then of course the You're the Best from the Urban District stamp set. Uh, this one's kind of supposed to be a toolbox of sorts, and so you've got all kinds of tools in there. We've got the ruler along the to kind of separate that out, the hexagon folder, uh, some nuts and bolts and whatnot. Here's that really cool tag again that makes that really neat little um, embossed image there. And then when you open this up, uh, then you've got some room to write your greeting in there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, this card is really cool. It's got the two rulers uh, lining uh, the middle here. And if you can kind of see down, I don't know, can you see there? It's kind of hollow in here. So we've got some random stamped images there. And then these things are kind of over the top. So it's really 3D. It's really cool. Got that tag on there. And then this one is just hand cut to mimic uh, the size of this one. Open that up. And that one is a blank inside. Here's another Father's Day card. Uh, this is another card that I have a video for on my blog. It's a pop out dad card. So you can see when you open it up, the dad kind of pops right out of that card. So we've got some of the designer series paper on the front, the ruler, the embossed uh, in silver, a dad greeting. We've got dad cut out with the large letters framelits and then some more designer series paper. And I'll link this video to make this card uh, right up here. Oh, my finger looks huge. Sorry about that. All right, this one, we've got a diorama card here. Another one for the girls. Yay, I'm so excited about that. Uh, this one also uses some of the silver foil sheets with that same cool tag die. A little bit of lace trim. We've got the ruler border here, some rhinestones. And then on the inside is just some really cool pink tools. Kind of see down in there. And this is one of those cards that will stand up on a desk or a table when the receiver gets it. Um, so it's just really cool. It's got that really nifty window in there. And again, another one for the girls, Wahoo. Here's another really cool card. This one uses uh, the Celebrate folder, and that comes to us from the Celebration Duo's textured impression embossing folders. Um, so these folders are really cool because they uh, deboss, they, the impression goes down so that you can stamp on top of it. So you can see this blue, navy blue, was stamped on top of this, and so that really makes that embossed image pop. So then we've got the saw, two-tone saw there and then when you do you can slide this out so cool this is another die um, that we have in the catalog 
and then we've got some of the nuts right there and isn't that just cool this one is really cool we've got a couple of the rulers along the sides the hexagon folder here our happy father's day greeting the tools but check this out when this opens up got to get the wow factor here ta-da it's like an explosion card oh my gosh is that not the coolest thing ever yes I need to do a video on this because it's amazing so that is a very cool card and our last card is another one for the girls yay so excited um, this one I also have a video for I'll link it up there for you um, this one has the greeting stamped on that really cool little pattern there and you can see Hopefully you can see. These are like little raised, shiny. I call them shiny nuts in the video. Hopefully that doesn't offend anybody. But it just came out and sometimes, you know, I just talk off the cuff. What can you do? Anyway, we've got the two-tone saw here. We've got a little bit more bling, like where these little uh, nuts would be to screw the saw together. Uh, the designer series paper in the background. Then we open it up. A little bit more designer series paper. And some nuts and bolts hanging out there. So that is my video for you. I think there was 26 cards. Let's bring them back in here and line them up. If you need to purchase any supplies to make any of these cards yourself, you can do so at shoppingwithbarb.com. And I love it when you like my videos. So if you do like this video, give it a thumbs up. There's the little thumb right down here to do that. And if you want to subscribe to be notified when I post new videos, the little subscribe button is right over here. And then there's a little notification bell right down here. If you click on that, when I do upload a new video, you'll be notified that I have done so. And then you can come and watch it. So, as always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it very much. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I love reading those, and I do try to respond to every single one that I get. So, have a wonderful, wonderful day.